Welcome back in our WDF uh, series and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the grid view. So don't need to worry I'm using Unreal Engine 4 that is the same for Unreal in any of 5 version as well so you don't need to worry. So for using a grid view and make sure it should be work properly and we can also use, uh, use the scroll, uh, scroll as well. So that's why first we'll be drag and drop a scroll box and let's try to adjust as much we can even left side to bottom and then also as the left side as well and also the top view that how much you want instead of that we'll be use a grid view so like this drag and drop and make sure it's inside of this thing okay we'll be choose scroll box and here we'll be to find the orientation and we'll choose uh, i'll choose it to horizontal you can keep it to vertical as well if you want then we'll be at here you'll be see the anchor point okay so you can you need to choose the anchor point to down okay or you can choose the left side depends on your wherever you want to keep then choose the grid view now at here grid view you find here the horizontal uh element or alignment sorry horizontal alignment and then we'll keep it there vertical alignment so you can see it's now at here we'll be keep it as a in the middle position okay so that's all what we need to do pretty much thing in the grid view or grid panel now choose that there as a variable okay we don't need to add any element in our scroll box we need to add element in our grid panel now go to the graph and from here let's add a for loop simple you can search that loop and here you find the for loop now simply connect with this or like that let's choose two element to one and let's generate the number of element is 12 now every after of creating a widget will be create a widget now we need a widget element that we want to show now let's create a simple a item UI. Now based on your item UI, it's going to be work. So you have to keep it in mind that uh, however you choose that here, it's going to be work definitely like that. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are going to add a simple uh, image at here so we can display the item. like this let's add a text view at here now compile and save now let's move to our UI now at here we'll be choose this now at the return what will be do will be take our grid panel and then we'll be write that add child to grid will be connect like this and the return now you find the row and column that is the most important from the index what you can do is uh, because it's doing the looping and it will give you the index you need to first divide it so you can search divided int and then we need a percentage which is division okay now at here will be give the same value that we want to display uh, in the all way so let's put three to three now row and column now compile and save now go to designer and you probably see something like this a cool view now as I said that you need to adjust the screen size that you want to match so let's make it somewhat smaller let's drag and drop to the middle compile and save let's come here now voila you can see that how it's displaying so if we have now more than uh, this element it's probably going to be displayed so suppose Let's give here that 4 by 4. Now compile and save. So now here it will be show more than 4 elements in the one panel. Okay. And to display it more uh, and check that it is uh, if the you know the mouse cursor is working or not, we'll be do simple code for the widget uh, spawn. So add to you create a widget and then we'll be add to view code. Lastly, we, <coughs> to use our mouse cursor, we'll be go to the settings and we'll be search that mouse and we'll be enable that. Now simply click on play. You can go to the field full view 
and here you can see that we can scroll it okay like this thing let's add some more element here so we can check properly let's add 20 now compile save now let's click on play and boom you can see that how it's working so as i said you can decide that how much you know panel you want to display at in you know, one place other it totally depends on you okay so that's all in this video thank you so much for watching see you in next video bye bye